had a clean out today. Um, you can see all the garbage bags and stuff. My uh, buddy Dan, his son Austin, um, we're going to go check out the basement and hopefully find a bunch of tools. So, all right, I'll show you the show you the, what we got in tools. A basement full of tools today. There's a little bit of everything. This uh, vise is pretty cool, but I'm gonna separate all the tools out. I think we're gonna get this box here. It's a little. Is it okay if I just fill this box and then yeah. see what they say? Absolutely. All right, thank you. There's definitely a lot of a lot of good parts and pieces. I like the I guess it's missing one, one drawer maybe. Hey Austin, yep. uh, CDs for you? Uh, no. Not too much okay. I guess that's a nice toolbox too. Making a making a pile right now, so you can see how much of a mess this is. see what's in this. Uh, it's like a cleaning kit. It's pretty cool. No, I have not been going to the markets recently. Uh, I mean, you could always sell stuff at the market, but I haven't been going. More hammers. I guess you haven't gone either, right? No. There's a lot of tools. Yeah, all the stuff like nice this, little punch. I'm gonna grab stuff like yeah, yeah, of course. But, like, I'm gonna make a pile, and you yeah, you go through it after I'm done. And stuff like this. Like, that light is good, you know. Yep. Take that off. I'm definitely going to take that yeah, vice I mean, off. I, I appreciate it. Yep. And just. Brand new wire clippers. Put that in the toolbox. chisel oh wow look at all the the whole set here national rifle association uh clock carving set oh did you find a pair good little uh denim tool <laughs> Lots of WD-40. Probably 20 cans of WD-40 down here. It's pretty cool. I always like these little anvil slash rails that they cut. So I bought this whole uh, section right here down in this basement for uh, 
200 bucks after I went through it. So the plan right now is to, it's a really cool screwdriver, is to, I don't know, pack some boxes. I'm gonna go load the truck. Um, another, oh, that was the hammer from before. So I think with the toolboxes, we got probably 10 to 15 boxes worth of tools. Should work out pretty well. There's, here's a really good uh, $10 master lock. Bunches of oil. So, oh, here's, a, look at that little set. Really nice. Wasn't too much scrap though. Um, I'm going to take this little ladder. I did find all this wire. I'll put these hammers with the other ones. So, probably 10 pounds of wire. 15 pounds of wire. I'm going to have to take out a lot of this stuff because it's going to be too heavy otherwise. Keep the locks with the locks. Razor blades, always good to have uh, nice, good calfskin uh, or deerskin gloves. No clue what that is. Oh, long Allen wrenches. Ooh, look at that drill set. That's worth some money really really nice it's missing one drill bit that's it <laughs> that one little one right there pretty great all right uh, loading up a bucket here we've got a bunch of a uh, ton of dust cleaner and stuff like that I'm gonna try to make this as light as possible for bringing upstairs so Files. Files that we seem to sell. Another nice set of drill bits. I probably got uh, hundred dollars worth of drill bits. Tomorrow the dumpster's coming, so whatever I don't take. They're going to have a company throw out everything in the dumpster. So, try to find as much as possible. What is this box? Nice old, old, looks like an SK set. I don't know if I'll be able to tell on here. Yeah, SK. <laughs> Uh, tools are always a good bread and butter thing for the flea market. No matter how many uh, you get, they always seem to sell. Here's a cool cooler, Coleman. I'll have to load that up with something. It's really nice. They said I could have it. It's not a, the hinges aren't busted, no real dents. So, all right, I'm gonna make a pile out front. I think one of the most important things, oh, well, that's a really nice hammer. Has, you can have put a brass, a copper, plastic, rubber, mallet, that's pretty awesome. So, I can always use these uh, ties. But, since this is one of the higher ticket items, we want to try to, looks like it's going to come out pretty easy on this one. Between this and the toolboxes, probably that drill set for the things that are worth the most money. So that one's spinning. All right, I'm gonna go put it on time lapse, and at least I have a good wrench collection here. To Let's see if I guessed right. Nope, a little bigger. 
Boom, boom. I have to find a little box to put all that in. I think this guy's the other one I need. Let's see. Yep. Um, I'm going to need two hands to do it, but basically I'll get this off right now. All right, I'm going to finish this second shelf. Man, I know these are expensive. Huge crescent wrench. Actually, since five gallon buckets can hold a bit of weight, I figure we'll stick this guy in there too. Little saw. I guess that's like a drill bit holder. Put that in with the, so it doesn't get messed up and we'll take out the, it's amazing how many tools you accumulate and how expensive they are to buy new now we're talking inflation definitely all you have to do is go to the tool aisle and look how expensive some of the tools are. Who made this? It's made in the USA. So could be good. I don't see a name though. Looks like Thorson. Never heard of him. I don't know what this is. Cool little wooden box. tap and die set. All right. Put that in a five gallon bucket. Couple scrap. Mostly, ooh, there we go. That's a winner. Draw knife. I always get 20 bucks for these. This one's made by, this one has a name, Dunlap. So, it won't take very long to get back the 200 bucks I spent. Especially if all the drawers are this nice. I don't even know what's in this toolbox. A little burner. I don't really need that. Some more scrap. This feels like a saw blade. Up, oh, those are always good. Circular saw. It's got nice wheels. It's not rusted. Definitely gonna take this. I think we have it uh, cleaned out enough to, to bring upstairs. Just have to clean the top now. Old soap dish. This is a fun salt and pepper. Too bad there's only one. Well, I'll put it in my box just because. Never know the next time we're just going to find one more of those. Is. And there's the wheels for that little grinder. Or there's the grinder for those little wheels. Never dull polish. And there's still something in there. I don't know. Always seem to find something good on a clean out. Little bank. No money in it, but it's kind of good. This came off pretty easy, so I'm going to bring this bucket and then the, the vise. Number 924. Uh, trying to see. I don't know, actually know that company. So I have to look that one up. But hasn't been used very much. You can even see the the teeth have really nice uh, 
hardly anywhere at all. Probably was screwed on here and maybe used five or six times. All right. Well, it sounds like I have to come back to pick up this cabinet and that cabinet, but I want to take all the little tools. You never know. Whatever time, you, whenever you leave something, you always seem to have something missing when you come back. So I'm gonna put all these in this bucket. I'll show you show you what we put together so far. I think uh, I think it was actually a really good deal. I don't think there's. Uh, the belt dressing. I don't think it's the can, it's whatever was on that. So that's actually pretty good. Yeah. Doesn't look like too much in there. Another full can of WD 40. <laughs> Grab all the brass real fast. Again, I can get most of this tomorrow, but it doesn't make sense to leave the things you know are worth money. Especially when they're small. Take this upstairs and that cooler. We should be pretty good to go today. I'll show you what we got outside. Well, this was my pile. I didn't put anything in the cooler, but definitely happy to get that. Uh, between the cooler and the vice, I'm pretty much covered with uh, what I spent, and the rest is going to hopefully be profit. So it was a it was a very good day. Um, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this quick video. Um, I might come tomorrow and help load the dumpster, see what else we can find. So uh, if you guys haven't yet, please give somebody a call who uh, might be alone. Um, Please be safe out there. I'm gonna load this uh, truck and we'll catch everybody next video. Thank you uh, very much for watching and uh, thank you for everybody who's bid on the Blue Bus Dave eBay. So we'll see everybody next video. Thank you, peace. Put you guys on time lapse as I put all this away. got it all loaded just figured show you that's how much we threw on the... all right have a good afternoon